the uh, shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour will then make low-level flybys at the White Sands Missile Range and uh, NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico, as well as Tucson, Arizona, en route to uh, California. The flyover to Tucson will uh, take place approximately an hour and 15 minutes after departure from Biggs. And arrival at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center on Edwards Air Force Base is scheduled for approximately 2 o'clock this afternoon Central Time. It'll stay a night there at the Dryden Flight Research Center on Edwards Air Force Bay base overnight and uh, to schedule to leave early Friday morning with a uh, low fly flyby northbound to Sacramento and the San Francisco Bay Area. It'll also then make a uh, pass over NASA's Ames Research Center. Vandenberg Air Force Base and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory before heading into the Los Angeles area. And then at last, the uh, shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour will land at uh, the Los Angeles International Airport for its arrival ceremony before Endeavour is then taken off the 747 and transported to its permanent home at the California Science Center next month. waiting to uh, hear word on takeoff from Biggs is plan to take off at any minute now. It will then uh, make low-level flybys of the uh, White Sands Missile Range and NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico, as well as Tucson, Arizona, en route to California. And we're getting uh, footage that was taking from yesterday of the low, low fly, flyovers in the uh, Houston area. You can see right on the right hand side the uh, Reliant Stadium in the Astrodome as uh, the shuttle carrier aircraft with Endeavour mounted on top formed a flyover the Houston downtown, Houston and then Clear Lake area. Arrival at uh, NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center on Edwards Air Force Base is scheduled for about 2 o'clock this afternoon Central Time. It, can had, it had uh, taken off from Ellington Field at about 7.03 a.m. It'll, um, it'll stay there in Dryden overnight. And then we'll take off early Friday morning with uh, another low flyby northbound to Sacramento and the uh, San Francisco Bay Area. It will then travel south making a pass over NASA's Ames Research Center. At Vandenberg Air Force Base and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory before heading into the Los Angeles area. And at last, the uh, shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour will land Friday afternoon at the Los Angeles International Airport for an arrival ceremony before Endeavour is taken off the 747 and uh, transported to its permanent home at the California Science Center next month. And we're getting excellent views. From the uh, that was taken from the T-38 chase planes. This is yesterday, as uh, the T-38 
the shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour mounted to the top, came through the Houston area. The fly over various Houston landmarks. Again, social media users are encouraged to take their photos and share them with the world by uh, posting them with the hashtag spot the shuttle. If you have not checked them out already, there are hundreds of thousands of stunning images that uh, were taken yesterday, and you can follow along and look at those images by going to spot the shuttle or OV-105 Endeavour's vehicle designation. Again, this is uh, footage taken from yesterday from the T-38 chase plane as it uh, flew over the Houston area. Meanwhile, that uh, shuttle carrier aircraft with the Space Shuttle Endeavour has uh, been reported that it, had, it has landed at Biggs Army Airfield in El Paso earlier this morning, about an hour and 15 minutes ago. It is uh, scheduled to take off at any time now, and we will uh, update you as it does. It'll then uh, make low-level flybys of the White Sands Missile Range and NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico, as well as Tucson, Arizona, en route to California. The flyover of Tucson will take place approximately an hour and 15 minutes after departure from Biggs. Again, we will uh, notify you once the aircraft has departed from Biggs. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, we're, we are getting a video that was taken from a T-38 chase plane during a yesterday's fly over the Houston Clear Lake area. It was a picture perfect day, as you can tell from this video. see here in this image right here on the left-hand side, the San Jacinto Monument as it flew across several, over several uh, landmarks in Houston. Endeavour is the uh, youngest of the uh, space shuttle fleet. 
It had uh, taken its first flight to space in 1992. Traveled more than 122 million miles. It's now on its last trek, on its uh, final cross-country ferry flight. Again, this is video taken from the uh, T-38 chase plane during yesterday's flyover in Houston. The uh, shuttle carrier aircraft with Endeavour lifted off from Ellingtonville here in Houston at uh, 7.03 a.m. this morning. It is uh, scheduled to arrive at the uh, Dryden Flight Research Center this afternoon. Where it'll uh, stay overnight and it's scheduled to then depart and arrive in Los Angeles on Friday. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, we're getting stunning video from the uh, T-38 chase planes yesterday as it flew over Houston and approached Ellington Field for its uh, landing. Here in Houston, crowds of people gathered around to uh, get their view of the uh, Space Shuttle Endeavour that had uh, flown 25 times to uh, space and had docked once to the Mir Space Station and 12 times to the International Space Station. Again traveled more than 122 million miles in space. The uh, shuttle carrier aircraft with Endeavour had lifted off from Ellington Field here in Houston at 7.03 a.m. It uh, has arrived at the uh, Biggs Army Airfield in El Paso, El Paso, Texas at uh, 9.12 a.m. Central Time, awaiting its departure any minute now. And uh, it will then conduct a few low-level flyovers at about 1,500 feet above several locations along the planned flight path to California that uh, include the White Sands Missile Range and uh, NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico, as well as Tucson, Arizona, in, uh, in route to California. If you uh, haven't seen this, go outside 
it is uh, definitely a stunning sight to see uh, for uh, social media users. Take your photos and uh, share them with us, posting, posting them with the uh, hashtag spot the shuttle or OB105. This is Space Shuttle Endeavour's vehicle designation. And we are getting this uh, video that was taken from a T-38 chase plane yesterday afternoon of the uh, momentous flight of Endeavour flying over uh, Houston and Clear Lake areas. Again, that uh, shuttle carrier aircraft with Endeavour lifted off from Ellington Field here in Houston at 7.03 a.m. Central Time. It has arrived at the uh, Biggs Army Airfield in El, El Paso, Texas. We're awaiting its uh, departure from Biggs. It'll then make a few uh, low-level flybys of the White Sands Missile Range and NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico, as well as Tucson, Arizona, en route to uh, California arrival at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center on Edwards Air Force Base is scheduled for approximately 2 p.m. Central Time. Well, uh, NASA tel television will air live coverage of today's landing at Edwards Air Force Base and also tomorrow's sunrise departure as it uh, heads to Los Angeles. It'll eventually be transported to its permanent home at the California Science Center next month. Again, it can't be said enough, go outside, spot the shuttle, and share your photos with us. Again, use those hashtags, spot the shuttle, or OB-105. OB-105 is Endeavour's vehicle designation. Endeavour again had uh, taken 25 flights into space, traveling more than 123 million miles, or more than 122 million miles, 122.8. 